welcome back to my channel. This feels kind of surreal because I'm about to do a try on haul, which I haven't done in months. And I don't know if you guys can hear my voice. I'm feeling a little under the weather right now. I am not feeling great. Um, so we're going to see how it goes today. Honestly, I'm kind of bummed because I, we, Emily and I have been planning to like get some try on videos and get back on posting because I miss you guys. And yeah, and then of course, like I wake up on the day that I'm like planning to do this and I'm feeling like poo. I just have like sinus stuff. I ended, I got like a massage last night. It was like lymphatic drainage and I wonder if that like moved things along because I was feeling like a little off yesterday, but like this morning I woke up and I felt like I got like hit by a ton of bricks. So I did like this weird electrical neti pot thing that like swirled up in my brain. And if you guys see like a trajectory of like salt water just like burst out of my nose while I'm talking, that's why. Cause like it's just been happening randomly since I did that. I don't know if you guys have ever tried that, but Sparky had this like electric one in the back. It was very weird. And you, yeah, anyway, I won't get into the nitty gritty details. All that to say, if I'm a little laggy, slow, not my sparkly self today, that's why I also have like the worst cramps. It's just like one of those days. And I was like, not gonna do this today, but I'm like, you know what? Spending time with your friends always cheers you up. You know what I mean? So we're just gonna go for it. But I am like feeling feverish or something now. Everything's fine. Um, okay, today, without further ado, because I'm sure some of you are new here because you probably saw like Abercrombie try on and you're probably like, who is this person babbling on about feeling sick? Sorry, welcome to my channel. It's chaotic, it's online, it's fine. But uh, we are doing an Abercrombie try on today. Here's the categories we're gonna be going through. I got a couple pairs of us, a few denims. Two pairs of shorts, one pair of jeans. Um, some wedding guest dresses, like three wedding guest dresses. Um, three bride-to-be kind of dresses, uh, which one could, like, they could be for anyone, but they are white, white. And then, did I get something else? Oh, pajamas, randomly I got some cute PJs because I think like going to bed in cute PJs and waking up in cute PJs is a real mood booster that's a bit underrated. And that's just me. Uh, so let's get into it. I think I'll start with the shorts first. Um, I will update my measurements below. They've been shifting a lot lately. Like I was up a size that I was like at this time last year. And then now I think I'm down two inches. And the last time I measured, I just don't know what's going on. So we're just letting my body do what it wants to do. I'm taking good care of it. You know, we're drinking all the water, we're working out, we're eating nutritiously and she's gonna settle where she wants to. But so I kind of wasn't 100% sure what sizes to buy, but I still think I'm like a solid, uh, 16. I think the last time I put my measurements in here, you guys, my hips were like 51 and I think they're now like 49 or something, but we'll see. I ordered size 35, I think, which I used to order 33s and 34s in Abercrombie. We're just going to see how it goes. Let's grab the shorts. Um, also disclaimer, I have like this tape on my knee. I hurt my knee a few weeks ago and I saw like a, um, physical therapist and she taped my knee up so I feel like what's going on that's why also my legs are very pale because I didn't sell tan for this video for you guys so just like be gentle okay uh, I bought all this stuff when I was on the Abercrombie sale they had like an exclusive sale through LTK I think it was through LTK um and so I got uh the curve love jeans and I got the four inch mom short high rise in denim just to kind of show you what we're working with here. And then I got the 90s relaxed cutoff short high rise in black denim. And I got them both in a size 35. Okay, we have the shorts on and it was not nearly as traumatizing as I thought it would be. And guess what? The rest of the closet clean out is coming. And here's my thought. It's spring cleaning time. So who cares if we're back on the train? And if you want to start over, you can go back at the beginning. We'll get into that in another video. This uh style of jean shorts is actually super cute um i like them i'm surprised i think something i'm learning about myself is that i prefer jean shorts to be oversized so they're just super effortless and comfortable and i don't think i like knew that before because these are actually like i want to say like a little a little big like the waistband if you can see is like there's quite a bit of room um they're pretty big but i like that because then they can like pull them to be like sit a little lower on the hips like they're a high rise, so right now they're like perfectly in line with my belly button. And for me, like I could probably pull them off. I can pull them off without zipping them. But I, I like how much room is around the thighs. Because there's one look, and this is just a personal preference. I do not think jean shorts look cute when they look are like tight on my thighs. Like I don't feel cute like that. So when they're like big and baggy, to me they feel like more effortless. Less, 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 less. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I'm glitching. Um... 
they feel more like effortless and chic to me that's just like a personal preference and they're more comfortable so i think i used to have like this idea of like vanity metric with sizing like i was i felt bad ordering a certain size or whatever and like i'm just over it man whatever fits best fits best it's like it, that doesn't matter so you are more than a number on a label you know what i mean so if it fits well in a different size just freaking order it just like at zara sometimes i'll wear a size medium and i have no business probably wearing any zara because it's not made for curvy bodies whatsoever so like size is just a number both big and small um just a reminder there's quite a bit of gap in here but again i like the way these fit i love that i can like pull them low and that they're just like easy and effortless so 35 is the win for me i will give you guys my measurements in this video so you can compare the size chart to this honestly until i started using a size chart when i was online shopping life felt dismal and miserable so i really recommend doing that just like getting a little measuring tape measuring your body and then having that in the notes app on your phone and then every time you're shopping go to the size charts and remember that some stores have the size chart for that individual item like for Abercrombie, for example, they have a different size chart for their Curve Love than for their regular denim. So just keeping that in mind and just seeing what actually fits your body's measurements the best and not worrying so much about what the traditional size you wear is. Um, because I don't know if you guys remember, but I was doing closet cleanup. I'm pretty sure I tried on a pair of 33s from Abercrombie that actually fit great. And that two sizes down from this. So like who cares? Okay, it's all just made up anyway. Um, okay, so here's this. I'm going to show you the front, the side, the back and honestly i already forgot the name i think this is the mom oh this is the 90s relaxed cut off short and a 35 which is what they technically call like a 20. uh so yeah i'm happy with these i think they're great they like actually make me be open to wearing jean shorts again this year which i didn't like the last last year because i was didn't find anything i liked oh right now we have the mom shorts and both emily and i agreed that the rip here was like a little aggressive it's like asymmetrical which it kind of is cool like it looks like it's a real pair of cutoff jeans which i'm sure maybe they were at one point what do they do with the legs what do they do with the leftovers how does it work do they just make longer shorts and cut them off anyway that's neither here nor there but i am curious now um and i got these in a 35 as well and i think these are just like actually a little too big i'm just very confused about my sizes right now you know and we're just experimenting because i would i was saying like these are like i think they're just like too big um so maybe like one size smaller like a 34 would be better because there's like so much extra room here um but i also i don't know i just don't know if i like love 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 the style anywhere whereas i really like the black ones i don't know she also may just not be a jean short girl as hard as she tries every year you know um but that's totally fine still gonna show you the front side back of everything like i always do um but yeah i don't know what do you guys think they, they kind of are cute like i could see them with like just like a t and like boots or something they're growing on me you know it, it, it we well, you know what it is i think it's a psychological thing because i used to always want shorts to be like oversized you know like thin people will throw on like really oversized shorts and like a little thing and just be so cute and like I, i've literally never been able to find shorts that were oversized on me in a way that like i liked so maybe i'm just like redeeming that part of me that used to always want effortless shorts to throw on because here she is um i don't know what are you guys opinions on this I, here's what i like about it they give the illusion of being like kind of short without actually being that short like the back is like long enough that they i don't feel like self-conscious and i think they're like comfortable but yet they like give the shorter look somehow does that make sense i think it's because they're shorter here in the front and longer in the back and i do like that because i prefer them to be longer in the back and i don't mind them being a little shorter in the front yeah so i don't know you know what i could also do is get these tailored so that the waist is actually snatched and then the legs are still big maybe i do that maybe i do that anyway also i wanted to say that i got this little vest from abercrombie too which i think is so cute um this is an extra large and it's just like a little knit vest it has these cute little gold buttons it's very vivian i feel like from pretty woman or something i don't know it's very cute so i kind of think actually this outfit is kind of a vibe and i wasn't anticipating like loving it i could see myself doing this with like boots and like wearing it as an outfit because it is like pretty cute oh so here's the here's the back of this guy but yeah i don't know this is just like a cute little preppy chic vest i think it also came in white but i don't think it had like piping and i, I think it came in striped as well Okay, I wanted to, I'm get, like, giving like a hoi mateys. This is like sailor chic. I'm not mad about it. 
These are, oh, what are these jeans called? I wonder what my butt and Emily's face and half her tall ones. The wide leg, high rise. Okay, these are the high rise wide leg jeans, if you didn't hear her. Yeah, I got them in tall. And I'm like, actually, they could even be longer. I feel like they could, they could sweep ever so slightly more the ground. It's interesting because you saw how like roomy the shorts were a size up. And like these like feel like a little snug just like around the waistband. I think everywhere else they actually fit really nicely. Like I like the way they look on the butt. I love the way the legs look. But they do this weird thing here. Can you see like this like thing? <laughs> so it's like it looks like they're double lined around the pockets. And then they just like go single lined here and I'm wearing nude underwear. I'm not even wearing like black underwear. So I feel like all you can see is this strange little triangle there, which is a bummer because I actually think they look super chic and I like the way they fit, but I wouldn't keep like, I think they also like actually do look really nice in this area, which for white jeans can be kind of tough. Can't be having people looking down there and not making eye contact with me, you know? Uh, so yeah, I think their sizing is strange personally like these actually this fits great um the pants I think they fit well um but you saw the difference between sizing up was like super massive and this just has this weird thing so I don't know you know what just try it and if it doesn't work say goodbye it's fine but I do like this and I think if they have I think they have this style in denim as well and if they do I kind of think it's worth a try because I do really think that the actual shape of it is really cute. Okay, I have a dress that I'm trying on. I think this would be cute with my skim shapewear. I have like the little shorts bra, built-in bra bodysuit thing that I like love so much. I'm just wearing like normal wear with this and I feel like it's cutting me here and kind of giving me a weird line, but I think that the dress itself is cute. Um, I like the length. I think I got it in a tall. Um, I do like that they have like tall options in a lot of their dresses as well which means if you see like a really cute short dress that you know wouldn't work if you're a tall girl like me which i'm going to touch on later you can get tall and they're like it'll at least cover the booty cheeks you know what i mean um but yeah, i think this is also really cute it's giving like 90s it's giving meredith blake a little bit so is that fast um or like a little bit like pretty woman um but it's really cute so it's a denim dress with like seaming buttons this is the extra large it has a it like stops here so you've got the room to like walk but it's not too short i think it's really cute this is also like a chic elevated you could totally do this for like bridal because obviously like i'm in my bridal season which wedding planning updates i've been talking to you guys i'm really hoping we can do it this fall so send your good wishes if you feel so inclined um but yeah i think this is really cute i would style it with like i have this really cute little silk like scarfy thing that I think would be super cute here or like some jewelry little like sweater around the shoulders boots would be cute sneakers um it's a really cute little like chic dress and I feel like if you are someone that has to go like into an actual office you could totally pull this off with like a light sweater or like a light um like a little blazer situation I feel like it's like somewhat office of ropes but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I think it's really cute. And I think this one comes in denim as well. And again, I'm wearing the extra large. Let me show it to you at all angles. Another thing that I thought was going to be over for me for the rest of my life was rompers. And look who's wrong about that. These are fab. I have little, um, like, skim shorts on underneath in case you're wondering what's poking out. But uh, <laughs> this is so cute. I love this so much. It feels, like, so cute and feminine and like dainty but I love that whoops there's not gonna be any wardrobe malfunctions in this it makes me feel like safe to like death drop which I don't obviously know how to do look at my knee I'll be doing none of that but you get the vibe it's so cute it's giving like milkmaid like cottage core summer but also I don't know it's such a cute little look I love it so much and again I think this came in tall um so I'm pretty sure I'm wearing a tall in this and it's just like not common that you'll get to have like a, a lot like a tall romper because like I'm sure like the inseam of it is like affected for me and like the fact that it's not like too short like it, it reads as like a shorter dress but it's not like inappropriately scary short and the shorts obviously help I just love the way it fits this is an extra large and I just think it honestly fits like a glove I like love the way it comes in at the waist I'm really obsessed with this this to me is like perfect for traveling somewhere super hot, which I'm about to do. And I always get nervous about what to wear when it's hot, but this is like really light, breathable cotton. So it's just gonna be a really comfortable dress for being in super hot, humid climates. And I just couldn't be happier with it. I feel very cute. I like it so much. I don't really have anything 
this color. Um, so I'm excited about it. I have like a couple of white dresses that have this vibe, but they all have like kind of a, a sleeve or they're like heavier. And so the fact that this one is just so lightweight, I'll show you every angle. Yeah, I'm like surprised. Like this is something that I really, last minute was like adding to my card and thinking like, there's no way this is gonna work. And sometimes those are the things that surprise you. You know what I mean? I did not expect to love this dress as much as I love it, but it looks so good. It's so pretty. And actually I was afraid that it'd be like really heavy, but it's just like one, fine like bit of this like satiny material so it's like a very thin layer so it feels like it actually be cool i'm just thinking back in time to my brother's wedding and it was like a hundred literal i think the weather said it felt like it was 118 degrees it was the most humid it was really freaking hot and i remember i could not find a dress and i was like this would have been good except for this probably would have shown all my sweat stains so never mind um but this is so it's just so floaty and pretty i love it so much also emily helped me retape my knee so hopefully it won't be so offensive in all of these outfits now um this is just so cute it's really beautiful it makes me feel elegant beautiful i'm wearing an extra large like just look at the way it moves i love it this is like one of those movies where like he looks up and she's coming down the stairs and she's like having her moment because she took her glasses off and all of a sudden she's pretty i hate that but you know what i mean um but i just love it the color the movement um the straps are adjustable and i'm wearing uh, i'm actually not wearing a bra with this i have a like spanksy thing like a skims thing on but i rolled it all the way down so this is not a bra on and i do love that it it supports without a bra which is like number one goals for me um the back is also open which is really fun detail you can see my little like skims hanging out of here um but since you can adjust the straps and then it has this thing it kind of like acts as like a little support for you um i'm like a 38 triple d so you know it's got something to to hold up and it's doing its job i just think it's really pretty i'm wearing an extra large um, I can't remember if I'm wearing tall or not. I can't remember if this one comes in taller. If it does, I probably did. I did whenever I could where they had it in stock. So I'm going to show you at all angles, but I just think it's a really beautiful summer occasion. If you've got like a wedding that you're attending as a guest or something, I just think it's, and I think it comes in other colors as well. Um, but it's just so beautiful. It does come in white, which I thought would be really pretty, uh, like more of like a cream if you were a bride to be as well. I considered getting it for that, but I ended up getting a strapless one that I'm going to show you in a second instead for my own occasions. But I like really am surprised that I really love this. I'm doing a lot of travel um this month and we've got like little dinners out and i kind of like mm, this would be nice because i don't have to throw on i wouldn't have to worry about like undergarments or anything it's just like an easy throw on and it's like really like light so like mm, this might actually be good for my travel but anyway i just think it's so pretty emily and i are so bummed about this dress it looked so beautiful online and like the potential is there the colors are gorgeous i had these earrings on because um i ended up styling the previous dress as like how I would wear it to a wedding to make a short form video. So if you want to see how I style any of this stuff, head over to my Instagram or my TikTok because I'll be sharing like them a little bit more styled and like how I'd actually wear them. But so I left the earrings on because I was like, this is such a vibe. But I'm so bummed. Like what the problem here is that like how high the, the little boob cups go. Like my boobs are like here and this is here and this needs to be like here. And if it was here, then it would be a lot better but the thing is it doesn't like the way it's cut it just like isn't like it's cut weird on the body or something which sucks because it's such a gorgeous dress and it's so like lightweight and feathery and feminine and beautiful i love like the structure of it it's such a beautiful dress maybe it would work on someone who had like a little smaller chest or if you're chest that's like a little higher like i don't even think mine's like especially low or anything but it's just like so strange i was like what if i wore a push-up bra like still then it would just be like it's i think the neckline is just too high don't you think she's gonna pop it in we're confused about the fit it's she was super flat chested so maybe it's made for someone that isn't having such a big chest but i still am not sure but like yeah anyway i think it's so gorgeous and definitely try it if it's if you're like in love with it maybe it's just doesn't suit my body but I am confused about the way that it's cut. Like, in general, love the idea of it. Just don't think that it's, like, working. It's, like, just slightly off, which is such a bummer. Because, like I said, I just think it's so pretty. It's an extra large. Back with another near miss. That, I want so badly to make that floral one work. I think if I got the back cut from, like, a seamstress, but I'm like, that's so much work. But it's just so hard to find a floaty, beautiful dress. Like, anyway, let's talk about, let's be in the present moment right now, okay, with this dress. 
I don't like this very much either. I think something about like the way the ruffles like hit at the widest part of my body, like I feel like it's just like not tailored to my body in a way that works for me. I think if like this part was cinched, if this was like a little higher and the slit was a little like here, you know what I mean? It's just like close, but just not a little bit off. And we are not wearing things that are just like, mm, we don't have to settle for things that look okay on us when there are things out there that will look ba ba boom on us, you know what I mean? So we're gonna wait for the ba ba boom. I don't wanna say ba ba or ba ba, but whatever it is, wait for it. This is fine. I don't, I like the idea of it and I was hoping that I would like the way it fit a little more, um, but I just really don't and that's fine. But I do think the color is pretty, it definitely is a great option. I'd say try it. If you're like in love with the style, it might fit your body differently. For some reason, just the way it's cut on my body, I have like obviously a pretty like my, hip to waist ratio is a bit exaggerated like I don't know like the way like I'm taller so it may be hitting interesting spots like I don't know so just don't let me discourage you but this is just my opinion it's like it's I think the dress itself is gorgeous the material it feels really high quality I love the color it's really beautiful I just think it's not quite working on my body you know we've got plenty of options we don't have to just take everything we get but here we are. I love this. I feel like this is just something I need in my wardrobe. I just really love wearing white. I don't know why. It's my favorite color to wear. I don't know what it is about it, but it is. And I just think this is so beautiful. Sparky was just walking out the door and he was like, oh my gosh, I love that. It looks so good on you. Like he loved it. And I was like, mm, I should wear this for one of our bridal occasions. It's just really, really pretty. I just feel so elegant in it. I love, I just love it. It's perfect. I'm not wearing a bra with it, which is like such a, such a gift from the heavens when you're big busted. Um, and I just think it just fits so well. I love the way the, where the slit hits. Like, I love that it shows like a little skin, but it still feels like really elevated and elegant. Like, I just feel like my best self in this dress. And this compared to the dress that I just tried on, like, I need to remember that there are things that make me feel like so great and that I don't need to settle for things that aren't. Cause those are things that sit in your closet and you put them on and you're like, this just isn't making me feel good. And then you end up giving them away before you even wear them. So. Uh, as we are bringing new things into our wardrobes, I'm trying to like set a bar for like how things are, that can make me feel, I guess, and then trying to remember that that is possible when I'm like muscling to make something work that doesn't work. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so I love this. I'm gonna show you all angles. This is an extra large as well. Uh, I think this may be a long, I don't know if this one comes along, but this is like finally a dress that I think is long enough for me. Um, and I just love it so much. It's so beautiful. I'm 100% keeping this and I wish I had an event to wear it to this week, but like there's been so many events lately that I'm like, I would, this is so something. I just went to an event yesterday and I would have totally worn this to the event. I wore the, this other dress I'm about to show you, but I would have totally worn this. I just think it's so gorgeous. Okay, here's another that's perfect for bridal occasions. I wore this yesterday actually to a party. Uh, it's like a launch event for a shoe. Uh, if you guys follow Deepika, I'm obsessed with her. I like got to talk to her and like she followed me on Instagram. I freaking lost it I sent Emily a screenshot and I was like oh. um anyway everything's fine but I got to meet her and she I'll show you actually she did a collab with naturalizer to make shoes in like skin tones because of her lip tinted brand and her like desire for everyone to feel seen and like to have accessibility to like makeup that freaking matches their face what a novelty and yeah so I got these shoes they're really cute and so I built a full outfit around them so I wore this dress with a white blazer over I'll show you a picture here it was cute right I did a good job and if you follow me over on Instagram, you probably saw like I posted a little like get ready with me building the outfit. Anyway, so I have had my eye on this dress for a long time. I feel like it's a silhouette they've had for a while. And my friend Tamar, musings of a curvy woman, wore, um, I'm pretty sure it's curvy lady. Sorry, not a woman, a lady, not a girl, not a woman. And um, she wore this and it looked so good on her. And I've like thought about it ever since. I think actually my friend Anastasia has it as well. And it looks so beautiful in all of them. And so I just wanted to get it. It's this accordion pleated. I wanted to show you guys the texture because it does have such a unique texture. And then the skirt has like, it kind of like loosens up and gets like a little wider there. It's just a nice little tube dress. Um, not super shaped, like it's, I don't wanna say shape less, but it's not super shapeful. Is that a word, shapely? Um, but I love it. I think it's so beautiful. I love the way it looked with the blazer. I have a vision for wearing it with like a white floral like choker um, for like bridally stuff. I just think it's really pretty. I love it. I just think it's so elegant and I'm super into it. Uh, I wonder if I could even like pull it down and wear it as a skirt. I would try right now, but I feel like my bra would be inappropriate on this chair. I don't know, whatever. 
I'll keep you posted, okay? But I do think they're so cute. Uh, yeah, and then I'm wearing an extra large in this as well. And it's just like nice and loose and comfortable. I think it looks really, really beautiful. Emily and I were just saying this reminds us of the Zara dress that I love that like didn't quite fit anymore from the closet clean out. And I feel like this is like my new version of this. I saw it and I was just like, oh, especially since I'm going on like kind of a tropical trip, I thought that this could be really, really cute. Also, I think that the, t the skirt would be really, really cute with just a plain like white rib tank or tee or something. So we both agree that the top is a little lackluster, that it's nice that they go together. But other than that, like the top on its own isn't that exciting, but it is a good basic, but the, the skirt is really, really fun. Um, I love the fringe. I'm wearing an extra large in all pieces and I don't really know what else to say about this other than it's very cute. Uh, so if you do have like, this would be perfect for also if you were doing like a destination wedding or something, if you were a bride to be, or if you're just going there on a little tropical vacay or just for the summer, you know, if you like this vibe, I do, I think it's very, very cute. And yeah, I could see myself like embellishing it even more, maybe with like a crocheted, like little over thing, I think would be cute. Um, or just like accessorizing in a different way, but I do like it. And again, I think that the skirt has a lot of potential to be styled on its own, but yeah, I'll show you every angle of this um that's just cute you know perfect swim cover up too honestly wanted to get a cute little pair of pjs i'm traveling to some hotter places and i feel like all my pjs that i have are long sleeve and i just love like a pj set just because yeah you're like put together it's cute um and so i got this set that looked really really cute online but i'm finding like this keeps like puckering in weird ways the shorts are like a little too tight like around here or something like i wish they were like a little bit more loose and effortless like it's okay but i don't love it and i feel like I should love, if I'm spending this much on PJs, I should love it. And so I also got the robe, this little matching robe, and I was like envisioning like a cute little three-piece set. It is super cute. Um, I just feel like I'll probably not keep it because this robe is also kind of impractical. They come in like, I think small, medium, and like large, extra large or something. And it like kind of, it like barely wraps around. So if you can't wear the robe like by itself, I'm kind of like, what's the point? I don't know. I mean, it is really, really cute, but I just think like I can probably find something that I do super duper love better for like how expensive this was um but i thought i would present it as an option because i have been in the market for cute pjs like i said pjs are one of those things that i think put me in a good mood before i go to bed like when i'm getting ready like i just feel a little put together and then when i wake up in the morning i feel a little better than when i'm wearing like mismatched like things with holes in them that are like grody like there's nothing wrong with that i have my comfort items i wear them but I don't know I just there's something that happens to my mood when I'm wearing cute pajamas I'm just like a cute pajama girl so I don't want to say about that so anyway um I think this is everything in that haul we did it you guys I honestly wasn't feeling good and I was kind of like I don't think I'm gonna make it through this but I actually had a lot of fun and I really missed doing this with you guys and like having my mind spin about like how I could style things how I could wear things um I'm really excited about revamping my spring wardrobe right now um so I do think we need to finish the clean out and actually just get my closet organized so everything is like organized nicely in the drawers again because especially my swim. Oh, I have a very exciting swim haul coming up for you guys. I don't know if you noticed, but the queen herself, Gabby, uh, Gabby Fresh did a line, uh, her, she started her own swim line called Villa Fresca and it's carried at Revolve, Nordstrom, um, Anthro and on her site, Villa Fresca. So I'm going to be doing a huge Villa Fresca trying on all the pieces because they are restocking in like Nordstrom, Anthro, like Revolve, like they've been like, it's been hard to kind of piece together your order, which is great that it's been doing that well. But if I try everything on, hopefully you can like get an idea of what might fit you and what would work and like, etc. And then um, as things restock, you'll know what to get because I heard the sizing uh, is a little bit different than some of her other stuff before. So like, yeah, anyway, uh, that's it for me. And like seeing myself in these PJs on here, I'm even like, oh, this is cute. It's like such a cute little set. But again, we can find things that we love. We don't have to settle for things that we like in theory. You know what I mean? Uh, it's been really nice to be back with you guys. I feel like I'm just hanging out in my living room with my bestie Sharon Stefan, getting excited for the spring, summer, my trip, like just getting excited about style again because I feel like I've been in such a rut the last few months um, and I know I haven't been here. So if I'm not showing up here, that's a little indicator that like I'm not excited about style in general and like 
things have been hard. So yeah, I'm really happy to be here with you guys. I miss you. Let me know what other brands you want to see for summer. Um, I tried to cover like denim and bridal and wedding guest dresses and stuff in this video. So if there's any specific topics you want, I will be doing swim soon. Um, I'll be doing like a little airy, like summer cover up, like easy throw on kind of haul. And then I'll be doing an anthro like clothing summer haul. Um, so let me know your requests and uh, gear up because when I'm back from my trip, we are going to be doing the last of the closet clean out together. And I don't know, we might do it live and then share it so you guys can rewatch it later if you want. We may do both. Um, record it and do it live. I'm not sure. Weigh in. Let me know. If you're new here, by the way, love to have you. I used to be do like several hauls. I don't know, like at least one a week, sometimes more, sometimes one or two, and then a vlog. Um, and then just one other video. So it's, I don't know, we're in flex, but we're definitely going to be posting at least once a week and hopefully more like two times a week again and maybe even getting more like we were. I'm unsure. We'll see how it pans out. But if you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to me if you would stick around and hang out with us. Introduce yourself below in the comments so we can all get to know you. Um, I'm Alex Michael May over on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, everything. Um, here comes the ice cream man <laughs> as if on cue. I guess we go to run. Um, yeah, take good care of yourself. You do be gentle with yourself in this season. I know we're going into a season of like swimsuit bodies and marketing and all this stuff. And I know a lot of people's bodies are changing due to like a lot of things happening in our world right now, etc. So like, just be gentle with yourself, be kind to yourself, love yourself. Um, and take good care until I see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.